Welcome back guys. In today's video, we are going to change the thermostat in the thermostat housing on this Peugeot RCZ. This is a 1.6 engine, THP or Prince engine, also used in Minis and BMWs, if I'm correct. This is a true competitor to the Audi TT and I really like the shape. I think, in my opinion, it looks better than the Audi, but let's get back to the subject. So. Uh, I'll show you in the second the thermostat and explain a few bits why it needs to be re replaced But let me show you what has to be done in order to get to the thermostat So basically the thermostat is down there you cannot see so the battery has to be removed the intake piping maybe the intake box as well and there is a bunch of wires or wiring harnesses that has to be removed and then the thermostat finally can be accessed and removed so yeah here is the new thermostat housing as you can see the thermostat is inside so it cannot be separated because it is plastic welded it is held by four sorry three bolts and four pipes and two sensors this is the temperature sensor, the coolant temperature, and this is the, the connector or sensor for the electric thermostat, because this one is electric thermostat. So how we found out that this is the problem, the car threw the code P0597, and also one of my friends does aircon recharge, he, he recharges the AC gas in the car, so he tried, but the AC pump didn't kick in, because the thermostat cut it off always so that's why how we figure uh, that's it that's how we figured out that this has to be replaced so without further ado let's replace the thermostat and also that Peugeot probably has or like not probably but has other fault which is an intermittent fault it's uh, P0299 and it shows as under boost so basically there is the wastegate and there is the flap which closes it and that flap is loose so it lets air to escape and that's why it has under boost issues but probably that's gonna be in another video first we remove this intake pipe you need to undo the clamp here it's a 7 mil bolt 7 mil bolt here as well the PCV hose push the tabs together and pull it so it's free also this other hose same method push it together and pull push it uh, remove the connector lift this tab and pull the connector and remove that cable retainer from the pipe and also this one attaches here so basically you just pull it out from it and now you can remove the pipe now this part of the intake system so this pipe you just pull on it yeah undo the clamp again 7 mil hex socket push this tab and pull it up and with this one you push it towards that side with the pipe or with the clamp undone okay so this tab has to be pushed in this disconnected and just pull it up the battery is out of the way so you need to remove this electrical wiring on top of it here is a tab push it in and it should release this one and just pull it up undo the positive terminal by lifting this side Remove the cover, the plastic cover of the battery, which is there. You just pull this one off. Also, remove the cable from here. And then there is the bracket with a 10 millimeter bolt, which holds the battery in place. It's there. Remove the negative terminal, pull out the battery. Now we can remove the battery under tray. Now the next is this pipe. 10 millimeter bolt holding here 
the other end is connected there to the elbow sorry down there you see the two taps one here and on the top so you just pry them or like push these taps twist the pipe a little bit and pull it out and that's it okay the old thermostat is out we had to remove the battery under tray it is held it was supposed to be held by four bolts there and one from the other side from the wheel arch so we had to remove the wheel and undo the wheel arch and it should be there but we didn't have it so we were quite lucky we didn't need to remove it, this one but we didn't know and also one torx bolt here it's a t30 torx bolt then remove the the pipes or hoses for the thermostat to here this is a plastic connector so you just push it together remove the pipe this one has a hose clamp on it so push together the clamp remove the hose again this one as well that goes for the turbo it, it pulls the turbo two big hoses one here and the other is here again use a 7 mm hex socket on it undo the clamp pull off the pipes obviously have something underneath to catch the coolant or you can drain the coolant it is up to you anyways you will have to bleed it and then there is one pipe there you see that one and a metal clips goes over it which i'll show you in a second so that is pretty difficult to remove basically you need to pry it out with a screwdriver with a long one and then you can remove the pipe which i'll show you so here is here is that retainer spring or clip so it sits like that you put the screwdriver here pull it out it's better if you pull this one out as well the whole thing so then you can remove the the thermostat and here is the old thermostat this is where the where that retainer spring goes here is the old temperature sensor you will need a different wiring harness which i which i don't have at the moment because if you can have a look this has the temperature sensor here and the bleeder screw here separately so it has a different connector i'll need to get the right wiring harness obviously i can put this one back connect everything up and i can install the wire, wiring harness later and basically that's it so i will show you once i got the harness